Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos today. I'm in the beautiful and very historic city of Havana, the capital of Cuba. In this particular video, we're going to visit one of the most historic Spanish fort in the Americas. We're going to visit Castillo del Moro here in Havana. We're going to walk around, admire its architecture, and we're going to learn quite a bit about its history. This is Vic. Let's go for a walk. Let's do it! Before we go inside and take a tour of this very historic fort here in Havana, you can see the fort right in front of us now. Let's orient ourselves. I am on the eastern bank of the river of Havana and I'm at the northernmost point. This is where the fort was built between 1589 and 1630 to protect the entrance to the harbor of Havana and to the city of Havana. In the very far distance right there is the famous waterfront of Havana. And at the other tip of the river, on the western bank, is the fort of San Salvador. And right there is the old city of Havana. Habana Vieja. So let's go inside the fort, let's enjoy the views. It will cost us six dollars per person to enter. We can walk all around and we'll take beautiful shots of this very magnificent fort. Let's do it. And uh, that's the entrance to the fort right there. But before we go inside, let's check out the perimeter of the fort you can see that here there used to be a moat a water canal flowing around the fort for defensive purposes it is now dry there is a souvenir market going on here to my right but let's walk around and let's look at the magnificent walls three meters in thickness and rising up to 50 meters in height. Look at this. Very, very typical Spanish in architectural style. We've seen similar forts in Manila in the Philippines, in Central America, and also in St. Augustine, Florida. Very, very similar in structure and architecture. Here's another view of the moat. So with that, let's go inside and let's enjoy the tour. Come on, let's do it. This is our uh, welcoming ceremony here at Castillo del Moro. After you pay your ticket, you'll be welcomed uh, by a band playing Cuban music, as you can see here. Okay, after this uh, brief musical break here at Castillo del Moro, let's come outside. Let's enjoy the view from up here. Here's the waterfront of Havana in the far distance. So this must be the western side of the fort facing the city. You can see the massive walls from up here. Now let's go back inside and let's cross to the main courtyard. And let's see what else we're going to find in here. Okay, I'm in the central courtyard. You can see here the band still playing music. And here we find a very large building. We may be able to visit a couple of the rooms, but then we're going to go up the ramp here to the top of the Castillo for beautiful views of the area around us. I am now on the top level of the Castillo of the fort. This is the southeastern corner. In the far distance you can see the harbor of Havana and here's the fort of San Salvador on the other side of the river. 
So let's turn around and let's walk around the fort. Now that all the tourist groups thankfully have left. And this is the eastern side of the fort. Now let's examine some of its history. It was built between 1568 and 1630 by the Spanish. And it was built here because in 1555 French pirates came here and destroyed the city of Havana. Therefore the city needed protection at the mouth of the river. Thus the construction of this huge fort. Incidentally, right there you can see the beautiful lighthouse that I mentioned to you earlier today. It survived many attacks by the French and by the Dutch until 1762 when a 14,000 strong British army showed up here on this side of the fort. On the eastern side, they parked right there in front of the fort and they, they took it from the land. They could not take it from the river. It was too well protected. And up here you can see the massive walls. Look at this here. Look at the view of the walls on that side of the fort. That's the northeastern corner. Over three meters in thickness. Almost 10 feet in thickness. Very typical Spanish architecture, magnificent architecture of the fort. You can get an idea of how thick the walls were or are by looking at the thickness of this part of the wall here at the opening. Let's walk, let's walk towards the northeastern side. And uh, here's the beautiful northeastern corner of Castillo del Moro. You can see the original cannons here. You can also see that the cannons would rotate 180 degrees on a metal base here. The support of the cannons had wheels. You can see them right there, all worn out. And the cannon would change direction by pushing it towards a specific direction. These are the cannons from, I would say, late 1700s. So most likely these cannons fought the British in 1762. That's a big tower in the corner over there. More cannons here. Now there is one thing that you're going to find all over Havana are cannons. There are hundreds and hundreds of cannons sometimes used the streets to block the traffic, believe it or not. Here's another big tower here in the northeastern corner. Now isn't this absolutely magnificent and beautifully preserved? The whole structure here. Look at it. I am now walking around the large building in the main courtyard that we saw earlier. And here you can get an idea of how immense the walls and the fortifications of the fort are. How high the walls are. At least 30 to 40 feet, over 10 meters in height. And up here we find more cannons of the same era around the 1750s, you can see that this cannon was also rotated half a circle around 180 degrees. And that's the lighthouse right there. Let's get a view of this beautiful cannon which has stopped rotating and it's facing directly north. 
Here's a beautiful view on the northern side of the Castillo. And uh, finally, here is a beautiful view of the lighthouse in the northwestern part of the fort, erected in the 1840s. And it is about 60 meters of height, about 180 feet, believe it or not. It is absolutely beautiful. It can be seen from any point of the waterfront of Havana, right there in the far distance. Let's get a little closer. Let's get a view of this lighthouse. At one point it was open and you could go up to the top for two dollars. It is now permanently closed. And it was assumed, or rather I assume because of safety reasons. Beautiful views. And uh, finally, in order to enjoy your visit to Castillo del Moro, you need to come down here. You need to come to the western side of the fort. That's the fort up there. You can see how beautiful and magnificent it looks from down here. And here on the western side, facing the river, you will find a dozen ancient cannons. You see one right here placed by the Spanish to protect not the entrance to the harbor but to protect the side of the river. If a ship makes it through the defenses of the fort then it would have to face a dozen cannons firing on the ship. You can see how rusty these cannons are. You can also see that they were placed on a support right there. They would rotate as well. But this side of the fort very rarely gets visited by the tourists. And that's because it takes a lot of work and effort to come down here. But this is one of the most beautiful sites. It's almost like a haunting site. It's like a cemetery of rusty, crumbling cannons. Look at them. They're turning into brown dust here from the salt and from the weather elements. You can see the beautiful lighthouse there in the distance. What a beautiful sight. This is by far one of the most beautiful sights in Havana. Coming down here and then looking up and seeing the magnificent fort, Castillo del Moro. Let's go close to one of these cannons. You'll see how rusty they are. These are the cannons that fought against the British at the end of the 18th century. A few more cannons here and finally the two last ones in the corner. This is Vic. Thank you for joining me all the way from beautiful Havana in Cuba. We saw one of the most historic forts, Castillo del Moro, here in Havana, a 16th century fort. A very historic site indeed. What a pleasure to have experienced this place in my lifetime. This is Vic. Bye-bye.